arrived. Sarah, focus. We haven't much time at all. They've been busy. They certainly have. Use that machine in your hand to find your way. There's much to see, much to learn. Where am I? It's been some time now. This place has been waiting for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Sarah, listen to me. You must succeed. Oh no. Hey guys, I'm Mine Glitch, and we're playing Daylight. Uh, game just came out today. It's a randomly generated horror game, if you haven't heard anything about it. It's been pretty, pretty popular before it came out. Um, I've seen the trailers. I have not played the game. I'm excited to be scared. Anyway, so let's get into it. Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing visions of shadow people. Doctors on site keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures that push what we've come up with no date. We come up with no date. Oh, come up with to date. No date, to date, whatever. Hello? Don't know. Click, click. Ah, uh, Sarah. No matter where you go, there you are. Yeah. Clicky. All right, new Kipling Herald, Mid Island Penitentiary hires new head physician, February fifth, nineteen o seven. Mid Island Penitentiary has recently announced the name of its new head physician, Doctor Walker Walter Mercer, known as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research. The city of New Kipling has expressed its excitement in having such a talented and Passionate recruit on board and ready to do battle for the health of its citizens. Indeed. Well. Alright, so. Gotta explore. Look around. See what's going on. I found two things. Um, Use the light to find the answers. It will tell you where to look. I don't know what that means. Can I take a crunch bar? Alright, so I can use a glow stick. Can I not open the door? Oh, the glow stick opens the door. That's weird. Search containers for useful items. Use glow sticks to find clues. Mid Island Hospital patient record file, date March 4th, 1988, concerning patient 13. Patient aged 10 months old, has been readmitted by her foster parents due to odd and frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. Am I such a patient? Or is I oh. Painting pictures on your flesh, they can smell it. What, what, who, who smell what? Search the hall for useful items. Okay. Hello? Red light. Red light is red lighty. I hear thump thumps. Oh! Oh! History of New Kipling. The citizens of New Kipling began performing spirit cleansing rituals on the nearby mid island in order to keep their town pure from the dark time. Little factual evidence has been discovered about the nature of these rituals, but after the cleansing took place, New Kipling announced that the city had been reborn. All right. Okay. Nice. So far, the sound of what's down then. The sound effects are working. This way. Nothing. I can use that to close the doors again. That's cool. God. Oh. 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 What were you? What'd you do? Who's your daddy? What does he do? Oh, man. I 
Got the shimmy shams. My jimmy jams are shimming. Oh. Ooh, glowy bits. Oh. What do you give me? Uh, found... Use glow sticks to search deeper. I found one. Um... Shake it up. Um, we'll go the open route first. Look for the bits. Oh. Found a glow stick. I can run. Oh, I can see my steps. That's cool. Um. Eeny, meeny, miny, toe. Hello? Yeah, keep shaking, shaking it up. Um, I want to go in there. there. Oh! 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 Huh! Okay. Is there nothing in here? Safety first! Nothing. I can't get over there. Whew. Alright, this way. Open the d -d dingy dingy. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh, okay. Mid Island Hospital patient record file, date March 4th, 1980, concerning patient 13. I fear that with the upcoming closure of the hospital, we will be unable to find a home for ourselves. For <clears throat> we will unable to find home for her, home for her ourselves. It's sad that life brought uh, into this world and her such violence will now become a ward of the state. She will undoubtedly be, uh, be bounced between institutions. Am I the the bouncy? Um. <laughs> Okay. Who wither? Who wither the flames? Oh. What? What? What, um, what do you do? What does this do? I don't understand. <gasps> oh! Oh. I don't. Is this like a save? I don't. I don't quite get. Should I? Does this do anything for you? No? I feel like I should. They gave me the flames. Does it mean I should use the flame? But I feel like I should use that against something that's coming after me. Nothing. Okay. Hello? Alright, I can see the thing on the map. Maybe I gotta find something to do with said something. I gotta find something to use on, on the. On Anybody there? Stupid! Don't be doing that. There's nothing here. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Anything I learned from whatever game that was I played last? Uh, Outlast. Running isn't that bad of an idea. Oh, all right, left. Ugh. Oh, there's a thing. George, there's something going on down in the boiler room. I keep hearing things moving around there while I'm cleaning, and I swear it ain't rats. It's something bigger. I don't know what yet, but keep an eye out when you're down there. Adam. I know you're there. Who? Oh, keep my finger on the two. Because the two is the fire. There's nothing here. You know, no one's here. No one's here. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Um.
threat remnants. Okay. Wait, where have I not gone? This way. I have not gone this way. Okay. Two. Red thingy. Red thingy. I want the red thingies. Okay, okay, okay. Moths. Gimme. Mid Island Hospital Incident Procedure, August 13, 1924, concerning patient 60E. Staff responded to screams coming from patient 60E's room. On arrival, there was blood all over, and patient was slashing herself repeatedly with a scalpel. It is unknown how she acquired the implement. While there was a lot of blood, none of the injuries were deep or serious. They were all surface cuts, as if she was not really trying to hurt herself. Just make a giant mess. Patient 60E has been remanded to solitary confinement as a danger to herself and other. Dr. Mercer has also now directly taken her on as a patient. Hopefully, he will be able to cure her of her inner demons. What's the, what's the noises? What? Oh, where? Okay. Midland Hospital, patient record August 23rd. This is patient 27C. Patient 27C suffers from obsession with mazes. Compulsive behavior has driven him to draw mazes all over his cell. Having run out of space, patient turned on himself, carving an elaborate maze to, to his own flesh, completely enveloping his chest, parts of his back, forearms, upper arms, upper thighs, and even parts of his buttocks and genitals. Patient restrained via straight jacket and placed in solitary confinement. I think my thing's going dead. Where, where did you? Hello. The light. Anybody oh. there? Hello. Uh -huh. Did you guys ever see a movie called Grave Encounters? Is it? Oh, there it is. Wasn't that great of a movie? But man, it gave a great like uh, atmosphere. Okay, they will possess you. I just got a letter in the bottom that says they will possess you. What does that mean? History of New Kipling. The Puritan Church of New Kipling pronounced that a dark time had engulfed the town, prompting some inhabitants to flee in fear for their lives. In order to keep the peace, the local church and town el elders instead instated mandatory church attendance laws. Billy, I'm done with this hospital. I ain't dealing with this crap anymore. I saw something down in that boiler room, and one of the orderlies saw it too. It ain't right, and I'm not staying here to find out its intentions. Oh, George. Six of six remnants. Mid-Island Hospital, April 9th, 1860. Concerning patient uh, 6B, Miss Eunice Goodman gave uh, patient a stuffed bear as a toy. Without permission from doc from patients, Doctor Miss Goodman has been thoroughly reprimanded and ha was reassigned away from the children's ward until further notice. What is this? Need the key. Key. The key. I've looked everywhere for said for. Give me. Oh, my last last one. Go, 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 go. What's this? Hello? Where's the key? What the hell is this? Yeah. Oh! There's a teddy bear. Is this 
the key. Oh, 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 where am I? No. Go, go, go. What does it mean? Oh. Island Hospital, attention, all employees, we understand that it is difficult to make it outside on your 10 minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceiling does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. We have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously and climbing over them to serve as a lookout. <laughs> Be advised, this is not a this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Management, screw you guys, man. We want our smoke. This does not seem to be working yet. All employees last night at approximately 7 p.m. The power went off to this section of the facility due to the unfortunate timing. We were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the record, records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the records room stacks. Management. Okay. Um... Um, I need, uh, I'm about to run out of thing. Ho! 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 That's a freaky ass noise. Middle Eye Hospital Incident Report, May 1st, 1940. Concerning Miss Daniel's suicide, Miss Daniel was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was in extremely unhappy at work and her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrist. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Miss Daniel's body has been was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Hello? Oh, what? Whoa. Oh what the heck are you? I have fire. I will use it on you. I don't know how to use it on you, but I'll do it. <sighs> Kipling citizens, accused crime, 16 year old girl. Uh, uh, oh, allowed to live, admits guilt. Est condemned to hang evil. Hospita. I know it's a hospital. Open to deal with spread of disease. Well, that didn't even wasn't even very secretive. Hello. Oh, ah. Stop. 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 So much pain and suffering, and from those who would seek their only solace. Oh. It wouldn't let me move. Truth, 
Patient 90D, while on nightly rounds, Nurse Moriarty noticed Patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely use both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this. Recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Dr. Mercer apparently knows what he's doing. Goes from the past. This is 1967, November 12th. And then there is the hospital at, as it stands today, abandoned and referred to by the locals as Crow's, Crow Island for its ominous bird population. The hospital and the island it sits on are now more synonymous with rumors about curses and hauntings. There is hardly a youth in New Kipling who does not entertain the rite of passage of sneaking into the abandoned building and the stories that conco they concoct about hearing voices, smelling cigar smoke, or even seeing women's shadows wandering in the hallways have done little to preserve the reputation of this once life-saving pillar of our community. How do I... I need to get over there. Oh, I can get over there now. Uh, patient 90D, psychiatric report. Patients have taken their pills and all are settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high strung and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Boxes with ropes can be moved. Okay. And then... Other button to climb? Oh, space. This is a one-way trip. hop -oop. Uh. Let's be out of the dark and make you feel better. Well, it shouldn't. Wait. Oh, you have rope. I could climb up there, but does that do me any good? Oh, 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 oh. Can I reach you? No. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't get you. I'm sorry. Alright guys, it's been about 23 minutes. I don't know where this saves, but that'll be it for now, and I will see you in episode 2 of Daylight. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. So far the ambiance is good. It gave me a couple good scares, which is nice. Let's uh, pause so nothing jumps out and gets me. Whew. Ha. Ah. Alright, yeah, and uh, if you haven't yet... Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll pop that down in the bottom right corner. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Peace.